This is Naina from Wamda here at the MENA Business Women's Network Forum. I'm sitting here with Dalal Bushiri of A2D, Bahrain's first um, self-storage company. Dalal, how are you? Fine, thank you, Ina. How is things? Good. How are you enjoying the forum so far? Uh, well, so far, so good. It's been a pleasure uh, uh, joining uh, all the success stories of the ladies uh, which are pioneers and their entrepreneurs and the, in their fields all, from all around the countries here in Dubai. It was really wonderful having them all gathered in one room. Great. And tell me a bit about A2D. What's the idea? How did you start it? Yeah, uh, first of all, A2D Storage is the first self-storage company in Bahrain and the only unique serving uh, the community as uh, offering them uh, storage spaces and packing and transportation as well. Uh, we're uh, three ladies actually behind this uh, idea and this company, which is give us a more unique identity because it's like uh, it used to be like a male business type but uh, three ladies just jump into the market and decided to take that field and then uh, challenge other that they'll be really successful in that uh, in that market so we're offering surface storage spaces for commercial needs and for personal needs starting from one year rent until whatever uh, period do you choose and uh, for the story of A to D, it represents our names. We're Alia, Dalal, and Dua. So one A and two Ds. So it's like our identity as females. Yeah. Cute. It sounds very corporate still. Yeah, Works. Yeah, like A to Z. So we differentiate it a little bit. So it's A to D. Great. And how did you sense that there was a market for this? Well, it's based from our needs. Usually females are very much attached to their things and we like storing things when it comes to furniture or thumb, something like with, with memories or whatever. So, uh, and beside that, um, the more you store, the less space you have in your own home or in your own company. So we sense that both corporates and individuals as well need more spaces either in their companies or in their homes or flats or whatever. So, and we saw that the Bahraini market do need or this service, which uh, was not established. We just established our business two years ago. So it's fairly new. So from that point, we started our business. And uh, amazingly, there was a great acceptance for this idea. We even have one of the painter and one of the artists who uh, store uh, his paintings and his all art things with, with our storage. Yeah. Great. What have your challenges been so far in building A2D and have any of those challenges been unique to being a woman? Yes, actually our first challenge, as I mentioned in the beginning, is being a woman jumped into a field that full, full of men. Usually like a field of transportation or, or packing or movement or constructions are used to be like a manhood type of business and storage as well because it's like a, a heavy business and usually females known as like soft creatures would do with only like um, cosmetics and all other things so uh, we decided to shift this thought and to turn the balls around so we entered that market but being as a, a woman um, was not easy they did not like take talk us seriously at the beginning but uh, we proved that we're professional, we delivered whatever service that we promised and our values was clearly from the beginning. And then amazingly, we have now a great database of, of customer. Yeah, exactly. And uh, besides that, uh, at the beginning, we, um, we faced some of the financial uh, difficulties. But we overcome the, this um, through some of the institute and organizations supporting SMEs in Bahrain and supporting new entrepreneurs as well. Especially Bahrain is now going and, uh, underneath a big phase of economic growth, so they're supporting all the SMEs and the creative new ideas and the youth as well. Yeah. Did you find it easy to get support as a woman? Uh, well, yeah. I did not find any, any um, difficulty between men and women in that, uh, in that area. Uh, we have many organizations that are treated as, as well as they can, as professional as they can. There were um, not any discrimination between both uh, sexes, but uh, as I said, as a, uh, in, the, in the beginning, uh, the society did not take us seriously for being in storage services, but uh, we took an awareness step by step, and then we introduced ourselves and get a good network, and through media as well. 
And then uh, by time we prove that we can do it and we're doing it now. Thanks God. Yeah. Is your family supportive? Yes, very much actually. They're supporting me. They, they provide me the best atmosphere, especially when, when I, I need to spare more time for business. They take the burden of my social responsibilities, my kid and my house and, and all these things. And uh, my partners are very supportive as well. We're like three partners. Each of us has, has a different role, but we do cooperate with each other at all times. So any one of us can delegate her part to any other person while she's like busy. And what would you advise a young woman looking to start a company in Bahrain today? Don't give up. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. And uh, just, just be strong and enter the market. Usually, uh, women have fear of entering the market and don't have like, enough courage to take a risk. But uh, I would always tell them, that just get the courage, don't give up, and y you will do it. They have only to have a good belief in themselves. And I know women are very creative, and they're very determined. Women are stubborn. When they want to do something, they'll do it. <laughs> yeah. It's very true. Well, hopefully they can also connect with you guys if they need inspiration or advice. Hopefully. We can always uh, deal with any woman who needs any advice, any, any mentoring, any of our services as well. So we'll come off any networking uh, here if they're like, interested. Great. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too.